collaboration released the first ever image of a black hole from the galaxy Messier 87, uh, a black hole which was billions of times the mass of the sun. Uh, and this has uh, sparked a great hype about how uh, this was another uh, verification of Einstein's uh, general theory of relativity. Um, their expectation was previously something along the lines of uh, this. Or perhaps more accurately, something along the lines of this. Instead, uh, after much image processing, they achieved something to the effect of this. And in this image, uh, they have specified um, no markings as to uh, what temperatures the gradient, ref gradient refers to. Uh, and they, they did not specify the actual um, distance coverage of the object in the image. Uh, let me say that this uh, object spans a region that is as wide as 700 astronomical units uh, with a center that appears to be uh, black. Uh, but uh, many people has, uh, have jumped uh, right away to the assumption that this was evidently a black hole because the, uh, the central blackness is uh, indicative uh, that no light uh, is emitted from this region. Uh, this uh, particular region, uh, this oval-shaped, egg-shaped region, uh, actually has been uh, mapped to a gradient that is deceptive. Uh, this deception uh, has uh, made some people comment uh, that this is obviously a black hole. Look how black it is at the center. Uh, and uh, the trickery used uh, in this gradient uh, selection will be revealed through a little Photoshop doctoring by myself. Uh, I have uh, made this um, image manipulation uh, as uh, immediately as the image was released. Uh, I have obtained this image from the European Southern Observatory website. And um, uh, the, the, the deception will be revealed soon enough. Let me uh, right away get to the point. So uh, using Adobe Photoshop 6, uh, I can immediately import this graphic. Now it's reading the TIFF format. It's one of the highest quality formats that I have downloaded from the European Southern Observatory website. Um, once the document opens, we can uh, see, once we zoom in, that the center is not actually very much black. Instead, it is some dark brown hue. Uh, we can also corroborate this with a simple trick, uh, with a sim simple manipulation, by increasing, for example, the contrast uh, as much as 66 units. We see that. Uh, the core of the black hole is actually broiling at a great uh, temperature. What is the temperature? Uh, let me immediately uh, return to their simulations, the simulations that they used prior to uh, capturing the image of the black hole. According to this simulation, uh, they have uh, put a color gradient indicating um, billions of Kelvin degrees. Uh, with each unit uh, that is tick marked on this bar. Uh, the central uh, so-called blackness is actually, according to this uh, scale, uh, more than 2 billion Kelvin degrees uh, at, uh, uh, hot. And this uh, incredible temperature has already been revealed by uh, a simple contrast manipulation, but we are not going to rely on this. Uh, just this, we are going to do another thing. Um, first, we are going to replace their uh, tricky color gradient with another color gradient. So we choose the gradient map, and um, we are going to choose 
among one of the available options. For example, let us try some um, some spectrums. The available uh, color spectrum here uh, somewhat is capable of showing that the central dark region is not exactly dark compared to the blackness of space surrounding this object. Uh, some other uh, gradient available to us from the menu, for example, uh, noise samples, for example, uh, this one, again uh, is capable of uh, revealing somewhat that something is not going right at the center of this so-called black hole. Uh, while obviously this is a supermassive body, uh, they claim that this is uh, the central region is actually the location of uh, our photosphere or the black hole shadow uh, surrounding that uh, does not hold up to scrutiny once we go to the special effects uh, gradient and start uh, to select this one, for example. Now we see that the blackness of space uh, is a little bit darker than the center of this object. And if you proceed, uh, we can select this one that is very good for our purposes. It's, it, this one exactly reveals, for one thing, uh, that the center is actually, uh, just as the simulations revealed, uh, the center is actually a few billion degrees hot. Uh, because the blackness of the space has been uh, represented as white, we can invert the uh, image, the colors of the image, to acquire a more uh, accurate representation of the space and the object placed in it. Now, uh, we immediately see that the center of this object is actually not at all black compared to uh, the surrounding space. Remember that this object is uh, about 700 astronomical units wide, and uh, the way that this uh, image has been uh, produced originally by the Event Horizon Telescope required extensive laboring with regards to uh, extracting out this image through a, a special uh, cutout technique. So now we are going to try something new. We are going to uh, equalize this image so that uh, the differences uh, between the color pixels are uh, more uniformly distributed. After we equalize, uh, we are uh, given the option to see uh, that the image processing has selected the object in a very special uh, region. Uh, this special region uh, has been blurred specially compared to the uh, homogeneity of the surrounding space, which has been processed uh, much differently. This cutout of the region has been managed uh, in such a way as shall be revealed right now. Uh, once we uh, process the image again by increasing the contrast to the maximum available in Adobe Photoshop, we are going to see around the edges that this object has been specially extracted out. For example, this tip, this very tip of the object, has been cut out uh, so as to extract the object itself from the surrounding space uh, in three layers of blurring. S these three layers are now revealed. Let's zoom out a little bit more. And we see that these layers are uh, revealed in a very distinctive uh, reddish purple color compared to the surrounding homogeneity of space and compared to the actual focus uh, of the uh, Event Horizon Telescope, which is the uh, region uh, that comprises the 700 astronomical unit-wide black hole uh, object. And uh, uh, this uh, region uh, has now been uh, uh, brought to the fore, and the image processing uh, that, that uh, required the cutout has been uh, openly manifested. Uh, now let us... Uh, Proceed to another section uh, of my display. Uh, this is the image that I have extracted uh, previously. And on, on, uh, underneath this image is the 
latest uh, manipulation that I have done to reveal the three-layered cutout. And now, once uh, we blur this image, no, no, once, sorry, once we make this image translucent and uh, reveal the background and make it more transparent, uh, the foreground, we come to see that the object itself and uh, resting at the center, which comprises uh, the uh, focus of attention, uh, is now neatly placed in a region of space that has been specially cut out, uh, and uh, they they have chosen such a color gradient uh, that uh, gives the deceptive idea that the center, uh, exact center of the object is black, whereas uh, compared to the surrounding space, it is uh, at least uh, one or two billion Kelvins hot. And this concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.